Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports Score coming to you today with my reaction to the AP Top 25 going to Week 5 of the 2018 college football season. If I seem fired up, that's because my Titans just pulled off a win that I don't, again that they should have not have won. And I'm fired up right now about that. But let's dive into the, the college football rankings. I'll talk about the Tennessee Titans game and my Sunday recap games for the NFL. Um, with these rankings, um, I thought they did an okay job. Um, I disagree with a few things, but let, let's talk about these. Um, number one, Alabama, I agree with. They beat they beat uh, 22 Texas A&M, 45-23. They get uh, Louisiana next week at home. That should be an easy win for them. Number two, Georgia. To me, you can put Georgia and Clemson in either flip-flop the two. It doesn't matter. You got Clemson two. Georgia 3, it doesn't really matter, but they went on the road and beat Missouri 43-29. They get Tennessee at home next week, and they're probably going to blow out Tennessee. Number 3, Clemson. Um, they beat, went on the road and beat Georgia Tech 49-21, and they get Syracuse at home next week, a Syracuse team that's undefeated. So that's going to be an interesting game to watch. Um, probably would lean Clemson at this point, but I think Syracuse will stay in that game for at least three quarters. So, Clemson might have some difficulty next Saturday. Number four, Ohio State. I agree with this. They beat the crap out of Tulane. Big game against Penn State next week on the on the um road at um Apple Valley or whatever the hell they call that place. Big time game. I think College Game Day is gonna be there. It's gonna be a fun, exciting game. Can't wait for it. I haven't decided who's going to win yet, though. So I have until Wednesday to decide that. Number five, LSU. Um, personally, I thought LSU should have stayed at number six and they should have flipped Stanford and Oklahoma because it was obvious that Oklahoma was going to drop because Army almost beat them at home. But that's just my opinion. Not really a big disagreement there. Um, LSU, they moved up one spot. They beat Louisiana Tech 38-21. And the reason why I said LSU didn't deserve to move was because Louisiana Tech was only down by three at one point, 24-21 in the fourth quarter. And Stanford beat a ranked opponent on the road. And Oklahoma survived against, um, against Army. So I thought they should have just flipped Stanford and Oklahoma and keep LSU at six. But that's okay. They get Ole Miss next week um, at home. They should be able to beat Ole Miss at home. Next, number six, Oklahoma. They moved down a spot as they, even though they beat Army 28-21. Um, very um, scary game for Oklahoma. They get Baylor um, coming off a win against Kansas um, next Saturday. Let's see what they do against Kansas. I mean, against Baylor, excuse me. I misspoke. Next, we got number seven, Stanford. Um, Stanford, um, they got pulled off a big overtime win against number twenty, Oregon. Um, in overtime, they get they get to go on the road next week and get no Dame. And I don't know who's gonna win that game yet, but that's gonna be another fi fun game. Two team, two games in the top ten this week. So you know there's gonna be shuffling next week. Um, in these pools. But they go on the road against Notre Dame, number eight Notre Dame. Um, not, speaking of number eight Notre Dame, they they um beat Wake Forest 56-27, and they get to play Stanford at home next week. Fun game, can't wait for it. Big rivalry game. Then we got number nine Penn State, who went on the road on a Friday night and beat Illinois 63-24, and they get to get Ohio State at home, number four Ohio State. Um. We'll see what they're doing as Ohio State. I haven't made up my mind yet for that game. Neither, neither for the Stanford No Dame game. Next is number 10, Auburn. I almost could have said Autumn. Um, <laughs> number 10, Auburn. Um, they moved down a spot despite beating uh, Arkansas 34 3. Um, I don't. Uh, whatever. But they get Southern Miss next week. Should at home. Should beat them, but you never know. Um, but good win to get for them against Arkansas. Uh, number 11, Washington. They moved down a spot. Um, actually, I think they only moved down a spot because they were tired of Auburn um, from the number 10 spot. There was two number 10 teams um, last week. But this week, there is none. 
or Washington's number 11. Um, they moved down a spot. They did beat Arizona State 27 to 20 on some suspicious refing, and they get beat number 20 BYU at home. And I disagree with BYU being number 20. I'll speak about that later. Um, personally, um, Washington. Let's see what they do against BYU, number 20 BYU. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do. But it is at home, which is good. Next, number 12, West Virginia. Um, didn't move anything. They beat Kansas State at home 35-6. to And they get number 25, Texas Tech, on the road next week. And this is going to be interesting because Texas Tech couldn't win this one. So I I'm going to talk about this game on Wednesday. But, man, haven't made up my mind yet for that one. Next, number 13, UCF. They move up three spots as they beat Florida Atlantic 56-36. They get Pittsburgh at home next week. They should beat Pittsburgh at home. Next, number 14, Michigan moves up five spots as they blew, blew out Nebraska. And they get Northwestern on the road next week. And I'm giving Northwestern a chance to pull off the upset in that one. So, haven't made my mind yet, but who knows. Next, number 15, Wisconsin. Um, they get to play. They um, beat Iowa on the road 28-17. They moved up three spots. They get a bye next week. And then they really dive into um, Big Ten play. Number 16, Miami moved up five spots. Florida Atlantic, they beat um, Florida International. Excuse me. They beat Florida International 31-17. They get North Carolina at home coming off a big victory against Pitt. Um, it should be an interesting game. I believe that game is on Thursday night as well. Yes, it is. Next, uh, um, the first new team to the rankings, Kentucky. Um, haven't been in the rankings in a while. In a while. No number 17 as they beat Mississippi State. Number 14, Mississippi State, 28-7. to Big time win for Kentucky. Um, they also went on the way and beat number 25 Florida earlier this year. So I said they're, I, I, to me, they are the second best team in the SEC East. And they get South Carolina at home um, this upcoming week. Um, South Carolina coming off a blowout win against Vanderbilt. So it will be a fun game to watch. Next, we got number 18 Texas. They beat number 17 TCU at home 31-16. To me, if Texas won this game, they'll be back in the rankings as they are. Um, they get to go on the road against Kansas State next week. So, they, I think they will beat Kansas State on the road. So, that's just my theory. I haven't come up with, with a uh, score yet. But, good to see Texas back in the rankings. Number 19, Oregon. Um, they moved up one spot despite losing in the overtime against number 7, Stanford. Um, they get to go on the road against number 24, California. Uh, number 24, Cal. This upcoming Saturday. So some really big games ranking wise this upcoming week. So that's going to be an interesting one. Um, now we're going to talk about my first disagreement. BYU shouldn't be number 20. All they did was go on the road and beat um, Wisconsin which was number 6 at the time by a field goal. Outside of that, who the hell did they play? They moved up 5 spots because they beat McNeese or whatever the hell you pronounce that FCS school 30-3. Are you kidding me? They should not be moved up five spots like that. That is a really bad. I disagree with it. Um, they get to go in the road against number 11, Washington. Um, we'll see what they do against them. But I'm telling you this right now. I disagree with them being at 20. Maybe move them up a spot or two. But outside of that, no. You cannot move this team up five spots after being an FCS opponent. Anyways... Next, number 21, Michigan State. He should be above BYU. Same thing with Duke, Cal. I'll even put Mississippi State ahead of them. Those teams should be ahead of BYU. And there's even some teams and that didn't even get in um, that should be ahead of BYU. But I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Number 21, Michigan State moved up three spots. They got a win on the road against Indiana, 35-21. They get Central Michigan at home. Um, a Central Michigan team that's actually um, not good at all, so that should be an easy win for them. I thought I was thinking Eastern Michigan for a second there. But should get the win, Michigan State. Number 22, Duke, who is new to the rankings. Um, they beat an FCS opponent, but it was long overdue for them. I thought they should have been in the rankings last week. 
Um, they get Virginia Tech next week, a team that just got bounced out of the rankings. So that will be a fun game, a big time game um, in the ACC. Duke does does get them at home, so probably lean towards more Duke in that one, but haven't made my mind up yet for that game. Next, number twenty three, Michigan. Uh, number twenty three, Mississippi State. Um, they moved down nine spots, losing on the road against Kentucky. Um, they moved down a little bit too much, in my opinion, on the mindset that I thought I think Kentucky for two weeks now. I've been saying it is the best, is the second best team in the SEC East, in my opinion, behind Georgia. Um, but either way, they get Florida next week at home. They win that game. They'll move back up in the rankings um, a few spots. Um, next, so two new teams in the rankings. Up a 24 Cal, they get in the rankings. Um, they're three and zero. They beat um beat they have um beat BYU. Um, they they were coming off a of bye. They have beat BYU, which is a ranked team up to 20. They also have wins, I believe, against FCS school and maybe a group of five school. I don't know who. I forget the other two teams. I know they beat BYU though. So. We'll see what they do. Rank they get number 19 Oregon at home. It's going to be a big game in the Pac-12. Pac-12 has some big games this week. And then number 25, Texas Tech. I don't know if I completely agree with them being at number 25. They did go in the road and blow out number 15 Oklahoma State. I'll give them credit for that. But I don't know if they should be ranked. They get number 12 West Virginia at home. Big game in the Big 12. Um, so we'll see what they do. I haven't made my mind up for that one yet. So... Let's go ahead and teams that dropped out of the rankings. But um, Virginia Tech, which he was 13, I thought should have dropped out. I think that they were very overrated at 13. Oklahoma State at 15 drops out. Um, I'm fine with them dropping out. TCU at 17 drops out of two losses. I think they do have to be dropped out this week. Texas A&M at number 22 drops out. Um, They did lose to Alabama, but yeah... Two losses, you gotta kick them out. And then Boston College, who was not the 23, dropped out after getting thrown out on the road against Purdue, which I agree with. And the other teams that received votes, um, Colorado, who did beat, um, they beat Nebraska and Colorado State this year. So, and but they are undefeated. They're coming off a bye. Actually, no, they're not coming off a bye. Um, they had a bye really early. They got um, New Hampshire. Um, they play New Hampshire State, I believe. They get UCLA next week at home, so that could be a win. Boise State. Um, to me, Boise State is still pretty good, in my opinion. Um, I think they'll be back in the rankings at some point. Virginia Tech. Um, they got to win games, and they want to be back in the rankings. I think they're overrated. Um, I think they're going to definitely lose a few more games this year. South Florida, they just won a close game against East Carolina. I'm not comfortable paying them in the rankings. Oklahoma State, I think, will be back in the rankings at some point this year. Same thing with Texas A&M. I think they'll be back in the rankings at some point this year. Iowa, they could sneak in there at one point, but I don't see it. South Carolina, same thing that I said about Iowa. Florida, I think, could be in the rankings, um, but m maybe not at some point this year. Same thing with NC State. They could be. Um, Syracuse, I think Syracuse is going to be done after a few weeks. I think that they're overhyped right now. I think their schedule has been easy for the most part. Um, their best win is against Florida State. A Florida State team that's not that good in my opinion. So, we'll see. TCU, I think they'll be back in the rankings at some point. Um, Cincinnati, they're 4-0. They're a big surprise. If they, start, if they win games in the American, they could be in the rankings. North Texas seems to be the best team in the conference USA at this point. Um, Utah could be in the rankings at some point this year. Same thing with Missouri, Ole Miss, Maryland. I don't see my turfs being in the rankings on the mindset that um, the, the Big Ten East is just hard. It's, it's just is. Buffalo seems to be the best team in the MAC. San Diego State, um, go, they might be in the rankings at some point this year. And then Arizona State. I, I would think Arizona State would, would receive more votes. Um, I know they, they lost against San Diego State, but I would think they would, they would receive more votes. So that's my opinion. I don't think BYU um, per se, sh uh, they should be ranked at like 25 or 24, not at 20. That's really my only disagreement. 
Um, but I think they got the right 25 teams in there. I, I do, um, for the most part. Maybe You can maybe make an argument that a, a Boise State or maybe a um, Oklahoma State could be in there over Texas Tech. But you can't have Oklahoma State in there but because Texas Tech just beat you all. But you could maybe make an argument. Um, I don't think you could make an argument for Colorado. You could make an argument that Virginia Tech is, should, uh, should still be in there. Um, personally, I agree that they should be out, but I think they got the right 25 teams, so that's good. Maybe, but I think they could shuffle it a little bit better. So that's my opinion. Um, comment down below. Tell me what you think about my reaction. Tell me what you think about the top 25. Tell me your top 25. Um, I'm actually going to put my top 25 in the description starting now. So... Keep an eye out for that, and also thanks for watching the video, and please like and subscribe, and this is McBee the Beast signing off.